Hello, Excel friends. So in this exercise, we're going to go to the web. We're going to grab information from the Netflix income statement for a four year period. We're going to paste that into an Excel worksheet. We're going to get rid of all of the data that we don't need. We're going to transpose the columns so that they become rows and the rows so that they become columns. We'll reformat it as an Excel table and the end result will look like this green and white table that you see down here. So let's get started. Now getting data from the web is a common task. Now I'm going to get this data from finance.yahoo.com and I'm going to use Netflix ticker symbol, which is N F L X. When I type that in, I see lots of different information here. You usually end up on a summary page, but if you click on financials over here, you'll see the income statement. And if you look at annual data here, we can see I've got four years of Netflix data. Now I want to grab right here from revenue. So I'm going to click just before the R in revenue, hold down my shift key. I'm going to go down and I'm going to click at the end of income statement. So I've highlighted all of this text here. Now with all of the text highlighted, I'm going to copy. Command C Mac or Control C Windows, head back over to my worksheet and paste into A1. If for some reason some of your columns are showing number signs, that just means a column isn't wide enough to show the number. But if you move your cursor right in between the two letters of the columns that you want to spread apart, you get this cursor that is a vertical line with arrows pointing in both directions. Double click quickly and that resizes the column just wide enough to show the largest cell value in the column. And now what I want to do is I want to get rid of all of those lines that I don't need. Now, I only want total revenue and the net income numbers. So I'm going to click on row three, hold down my mouse button, drag down to row number 25. Then I'm going to right click on the row numbers here. I'm going to select delete and that will delete the rows that I've highlighted. So now I've just got the data that I want. Now, since the values in my first column are years, I'm going to type the word year into A1 to use as a label. And now what I want to do is I want to flip my rows to columns and my columns to rows. The Excel term for that is transpose. And I can actually do that via the paste special command. Now, in order to use paste special, I first got to get something copied to my clipboard. So I'm going to click in cell A1, hold down my mouse, drag to E3, and then copy. In this case, I'll just right click inside the selection and select copy. Now to transpose what I've just copied, I'm going to click down in A5 and right click and select paste special. Now under paste special, I can go right to transpose, or I could select paste special to pull up the paste special dialog box. Now in here, I get a bunch of options and I can select several of them at once. So if I want to transpose and I also want to paste the values, but not the formats, I can select both of these options, then click OK. And we can see that we've got the transposed values, but none of the formats in here. In fact, look at this year column. The numbers look very strange. Those are unformatted date values, and I'll show you how to fix those in just a bit. Now I no longer need the original rows above. So what I can do is I can click in row four, hold down the mouse button and drag to row one, right click and select delete. And now in order to turn this into an Excel table, what I do is click somewhere inside the range of the data that I want to use. Then I'll go up to the ribbon and I'll click the insert tab. I'm going to click on table. Excel makes a guess at the data that I want to use as a table and I click OK. Now I can change the table formatting by clicking on any of these styles up here. And the question asked me to use a green formatting. So I'm just going to click here and notice the change. If I want to then go ahead and format the numbers, I can click and drag to highlight from B2 to C5. I can click on the home tab, use this ribbon to click on the dollar sign that will give me accounting format. I can click to decrease decimals twice so that I'm not showing any decimal places. Now, when I paste it in without any formatting, it got rid of the date formatting. So what I'm going to do is highlight my dates from A2 to A5. Now in the home tab of the ribbon, I'm going to go up to the number formatting dropdown. Mine says general. I'm going to click on the dropdown and I'm going to select short date and that will put in the US short date format that I'd had previously. And when you look at these numbers, it looks like Netflix had a really good four year period here. So we learned how to grab data from the web, focus in on just the data that we want, transpose the data and format it exactly as we want as well. Hope you feel good about your skills. Keep at it.